Hey guys, what's up? So it's another eBay unboxing video. Let me get my cheap dollar store scissors and let's try to get this envelope open. <laughs> All right, hold on one second. Wow. The seller really packed this well. And now we have another envelope. Ooh, how pretty. Look at that. That's an A for presentation, right? What is it? Hmm. Hang in there and I'll show you. Hey guys, so here it is. Isn't it really beautiful? So this was made in 1919. And it's an EAM dance purse or compact purse. And what's really cool about this is this is all sterling silver. Look how shiny this is. I mean, this is 101 years old and it's this shiny. Let me open it up and show you what it looks like inside. Let me show you how really cool this contraption is. And so we have a mirror and uh, we have two compartments over here. This larger compartment once held face powder right there and it would have had a little powder puff. Now over here is rouge. It's missing its original powder puff. Let me actually show you. This is a hundred year old rouge. And let me just move this little clip. This little clip once held a celluloid coin. I'm um, not coin, um, comb. And there is the makeup that is still actually usable today. And again, there we have our mirror. Now this was made by EAM. Let me show you the mark. I don't know if you can see that, that little mark right there. And it says EAM. It's upside down, actually. And EAM was Elgin America. Now, a lot of people who collect pocket watches um, were confused back in the day. This company was an imposter. It really wasn't the Elgin National Pocket Watch Company. It was another company. It was Jewish immigrants that created a wholesale jewelry business. And Elgin fought them in court and uh, sued them multiple occasions for using the name Elgin in their name. Now, everybody associated... Elgin with quality and uh, very expensive items. Now, this company, this Elgin company, which was our imposter, actually used um, substandard materials and got sued on multiple occasions. Now, um, Elgin finally sued them for the last time and lost the case. And the Supreme Court had stated that the company, the Jewish immigrants that named their items Elgin American, uh, were allowed to use the name Elgin in their logo, in their trademark, in their business. Um, the reason was, was because Elgin in Chicago was a place and you can't actually trademark a place. So that's interesting. So uh, I thought you guys would really be interested in seeing this whole thing. And uh, once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys all soon. So long.